What's up guys, uh, today I'm in my messy ass garage, um, I've had a few requests to do a uh, gun build video, um, so I'm kind of going to get started today, um, show you guys kind of what I'm talking about, um, and explain everything to you, and maybe get a little work done. Um, we've got here is a couple of templates uh, that I've got to cut out and apply to sheet metal. Um, these are for a AR-15, um, M4, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I guess I'm gonna call the the video the name of this series is gonna be uh, like the the Kyber Pass um, AR-15 M4 build. Um, right now I don't have the money for the rest of the parts. So right now I'm just gonna be working on the lower receiver and playing around with an upper receiver idea I've got um, to do everything out of sheet metal rather than having to go with the cast aluminum parts or forged aluminum parts, machine parts, stuff like that. Something you guys could do at home. Um, if all this works out, I'll post these templates up and throw a link up uh, for everything to for you guys to be able to print it out and try it at home. Um, but I'm not exactly sure whether this is going to work, so uh, I'll take you guys through step by step um, and show you what I did. And if it doesn't work, you'll know about it. Um, so anyway, hope you guys enjoy. Thanks. All right, here's what we got. I cut out the templates. Um, this is a piece of 12 gauge steel, I think. Um, just sheet metal, cold rolled. Um, I got it. This is what I. It's a millimeter uh, thick, or right at it. This is what I used to do my AK receivers. Um, and hopefully, I'll pick up another AK kit and do a uh, full AK build. Like I said, I've had a few requests to do some gun builds, um, and this is a project I've been thinking about doing for a while, and I'm gonna try it out. Um, but I just took some glue sticks, cut out the templates, and laid them out. Um, next, I'm going to take the Dremel and just cut the, the shapes out, leave the paper on. Um, you can see the lines here. These are our bend lines. Uh, we're going to bend it up to form the receiver. This is the magwell section, and this is the actual body of the receiver. Uh, and then I'm going to have to play around with how I'm going to do uh, the buffer tube and stuff like that. Uh, this design may or may not have a uh, bolt op hold open. Um, catch on it. I hadn't figured out how to do that yet, um, but it's something to play with. And like I said, I have sheet metal. I don't have any other parts uh, unless I want to take them off of a running rifle to play with everything. Um, this is just something I'm kind of screwing around with to see how it'll work. Um, but I'll be right back and uh, hopefully have these parts cut out. Thanks. And there they are all cut out. Um, paper still intact. Going to get us our lines for the bending and everything. Um, this one I ran out of, uh, for the magwell portion I was using, uh, the little cutoff wheels from a Dremel, uh, actually ran out of them. Uh, I got like one cut in on this guy, um, cutting it out, and since it's just a rectangle I used my big grinder and cut it off. It's not as, not as pretty, uh, kind of rough around the edges, it'll take some smoothing out to get just right. With the Dremel you get a lot nicer cut, not as much crap on the back to grind down and smooth out. Um, anyway, that's about it for now. Um, on the next one, I'll be bending these up and uh, cutting out on, let's see, what side will it be? Uh, whichever side for the uh, the relief for the, um, for the mag catch and everything, uh, where your mag comes in, it's got that little nipple on the side, we'll be cutting out for that. And, uh, making that stuff work and bending everything up and hopefully weld these two together and have a uh, a completed, somewhat completed product um, as far as the lower goes and um, then we'll move on to figuring out about the buffer tube assembly and uh, the bolt hold open and all that stuff <coughs> and uh, start work on the upper. Uh, as always, thanks guys. Uh, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, appreciate it.